Here we go. Good luck. <laughs> How did it go? I'm out. I'm ready to blow this popsicle stand, but my legs don't move, so I'm going to be here for a bit. Feeling good, though, so far? Yeah, I'd like to have some of those drugs at home. <laughs> okay, we'll check in soon. Can you move your legs now? Oh. Oh, that's the farthest I've been, but I can't move. The go slow, Jerry. One, two, three, four. Not bad. <laughs> you feel the ground below you? Feel it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's there. Okay. So we'll go out this way. In an hour, I can give you your antibiotic. Yeah. Keep your eyes up. If you look down, sometimes you get dizzy. To the right here. Yeah. That needs that a little achy into it. Sure. Once that, those nerve blocks wear off too. There'll be more ache. Yeah. Which will hopefully be tomorrow. All right. Okay. Yeah. Not wear off. Yeah. All right. Down this thing. Down the bed. Yep. I learned that because it used to hurt. Well, just some days it felt just and like that. Think, um, you look, you can go again? back if you want. You want me to hop? No. <laughs> no hopping. My steps are a lot bigger than that in real life. I know. These are kind of crazy. Oh, we should have moved the seat back. Oh, whoopsie. Move the seat back. Is it underneath the bar? Are you ready to go home? Let's, let's blow this popsicle stand. All right, see you later. Just got home from the hospital. How you doing? A little stiff, but I know it's going to come here in a couple of days. <laughs> I know I'm feeling pretty good. Good. All right. Well... Touch base again soon. All right, guys, it's been 24 hours, uh, just a little over 24 hours. Looks like it's been 20, probably about 27 hours since my surgery. And the nerve blocks are just starting to wear off. But we're not, I'm feeling really good. Uh, I can get 90 degrees with a little work pretty easily. Absolutely no pain standing on my joint, in the joint. The only pain I have is muscle pain up here where the tourniquet was. And just like, just tightness, like, uh, I can just feel, you know, the surger, surgical scar, or the surgical site. So let me show you what it looks like. So I got a little bit of bruising. Right here is the only bruising so far. I've been using this ice machine my brother-in-law gave me i gotta thank or and let me use i'm gonna probably use that for several months here but uh if that's a godsend i love that thing so in my other legs this is so it gives you give you an idea a lot different <laughs> a little bit swollen here around here but the joint i don't have any pain in the joint whatsoever uh when i'm standing on it i can't feel anything in the joint I was considerably bow-legged. I didn't realize how bow-legged I was. I guess like the average varus or degree of tilt is about three degrees, and mine was seven. So that puts my foot out two inches after he straightened it. And I can tell that my foot, just by looking at it, I'm used to seeing my, my leg go down this way. So it was seven degrees that way, which is a long ways, right? But no, I'm feeling good. I'll give you a day two and day three. I'm suspecting the next couple days, as this block wears off, the pain will start. Uh, oh, hi, Abby. 
will start getting to be a little exciting. But uh, one of the things I like, I've been doing my PT. In fact, I told her what I was doing. She said, back it up just a little bit. So I'm going to back it down a little bit or not do as much. But one of the things I like to do is I start working on using the recliner or the rocker and slowly start stretching it. And after a few times of doing this, I'll pull my foot back and I'll just start stretching it. And that's what it feels like. It feels like I have a pulled muscle in my quad, a couple pulled muscles in my quad and I'm stretching them right through here. They had, my surgery was done by the Mako robot, with the Mako robot. Dr. Johnson did it. So there's some pinholes up here, some pinholes down below from the camera and a big long zipper. They use staples, I understand, they, is what the doctor told me. So another update on the knee too. When the doctor came in to talk to us, say it all went well, his exact words was that knee was a wreck and you had no ACL. And I'm kind of upset about that because when I was a young man in the early 20s, I went to the doctors after a knee injury and he said it was just a strain. No, it was a torn ACL. And then I asked him about my PCL. And he goes, eh, it's there. He kind of shook his shoulders and he goes, I left it, he said. But he said there's not much to the PCL either. So I've been functioning for the last... 35 years, almost 40 years with no ACL. That's the update, guys. I'll give you day two, three, and then uh, we'll probably release this on Sunday sometime. So today's Thursday. We ended up getting five inches of snow this morning, five, six inches of snow. I'm kind of glad it didn't happen yesterday because we had to drive an hour and a half to the Holland Hospital to have this done and drive home that same day, which was amazing to me because when I had my both my hips replaced, we didn't, we did, we stayed overnight. And now we're only there for six or seven hours. Just the wonderful world of medicine now. So, all right, guys, I'll see you on next update. Take care. Much sore today, but manageable. We're day two, guys. I think we're, 50, we're about 52 hours out of surgery. The block is wearing off, and I'm starting to feel pain in some areas I haven't felt before. Um, on the sides of the knee. Hey, come on over, Abby. Hi. No, 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 don't, don't, don't jump up. Don't jump up. So, I'm starting to feel a little pain on the side of the knee. Go lay down, go lay down, come on, go lay down. Go lay down. Poor doggy, thank you. <laughs> so let's see what we got here today. It, my knee is pretty swollen. I've been using the ice machine. Now, oh, I don't think I'm gonna get it up over my knee. If you, this one slides right over. <laughs> that one's gonna be a little snug. So, how do you like the socks? So it's day two, but I feel good. Last night, guys, I had the best sleep. I actually got eight hours of sleep last night. Uh, with uh, I woke up once, used the restroom, and I was up for about a half an hour after that, trying to find my spot. But I slept really good. I actually used my own bed, too. So I think that's the ticket. So where am I at now? I'm doing my exercises, all the uh, pre-op or post-op uh, exercises that have given me. I'm getting my knee flexion back, but I really like lock, rocking in the chair. I can keep working it, so. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you for stopping by. I'm making progress. I'm being quiet because my grandson is sleeping in our bedroom, so. All right, peace. Just about the end of day three, guys. It's a little stiff. Just like they said, day three would be the day where it really start letting me know. It's letting me know that it's there. So, but I feel like it's doing good. I mean, I just sat down. And read, I mean, it's stiff, but it's not super painful. Um, I really, the pain meds haven't been as much of an issue. Just using Tylenol right now, 
and it just feels stiff, not like it's going to break anything or injure anything when I sit down. I would show you, but it is pretty swollen. I've been using the ice machine continuously, but it's still going to swell. And I've been doing everything the doctor said. I got done with my PT today. I've done two rounds of that. I have one more set to do for bed tonight. And then we go into day four tomorrow and we'll see how we feel tomorrow. So, all right, guys, thanks for checking it out and we'll see you next time. We're in a path out down this hallway. We're on day four, guys. And I got some shorts on today, give you an idea of what it looks like. So this is day four. Let me stand up so you can get a look at it. It's That leg is definitely swollen compared to this leg. Let me take that phone out of my pocket. But it gives you an idea of what to expect. Let me uh, sit down so you can see what kind of bruising. I'll turn on another light on for you guys. There we go. So I do have a little bit of bruising after four days on the side of my thigh. Um, I suspect that's probably from the stretching, but the, the bandage looks great. There's no oozing or any uh, fluids coming out. I feel good, guys. This, uh, it's uncomfortable, but I've been able to sleep. Last four nights I've slept uh, all night. Last night we went to bed at 10.30 and I came out of bed at seven this morning. When we're sleeping, we're healing. And I can't believe I had zero pain during the night. Last night was the first night I didn't use the uh, ice machine either. Uh, and I don't put this directly on my skin. Obviously, we have some, I have a barrier underneath it too. But this is just ice water, so it's not going to freeze your skin. But I did sleep with that for the first three nights. And last night I didn't, I had zero pain. Now, it's stiff. I can get to 90 degrees pretty, pretty easily now. We're at 90. That's probably 90 right there. Now, according to the book, they want me around 100 by day 7. So I don't think that's going to be too big of a problem. It just feels really tight through here. There's, it's stiff. It's like the second day of a bad leg day. Or think of a fastball to the thigh, fastball to the, the top of the thigh, and a fastball to the inside of the thigh. That's about the pain through the thigh muscle. Knee's a little different. Um, it just It's real tight around the knee. It feels like there's a big rubber band around the knee. And it just doesn't want to bend. Nothing in the calf, even though it's starting to swell up a little bit. It's starting to get tight down there compared to my other one. Um, I feel good. And, you know, most, a lot of you guys are my age. If this is something you're considering, don't be afraid of it. I did have a lot of anxiety going into it. I didn't sleep well. I was wondering if I was making the right decision several times. And after talking to the doctor and knowing what my history was before and the injuries I've had, it was the right thing to do. And even the doctor, you know, he he said it was a racket needed to be fixed. So every day has been a little win. I've not had a day where I felt like I've been set back. Now, this is only day four, though. I'm sure I'm going to have those days. But I'm feeling good. So, guys, my plan on this is I'll give you a one-week update. This is coming out today. I'm going to release this in just a couple hours. So you're going to see day one through four, obviously, in this one. And then I'll give you a weekly updates after that, starting Wednesday. So you get an idea of what what's happening, and maybe you want to follow along. If not, that's fine too. You know, I'm an active guy, and uh, this is maybe the results you will get if you're kind of active like me as well. I think I'm healing well, and I'm tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow is my first PT in town. I'm looking forward to that, and we will go from there. So, if you have any questions. Uh, shoot them to me. So thanks for reaching out to me, guys. That the guys who have reached out to me, there's too many of them to actually list them all off, and I'd make a mistake if I did, and I'd skip some of you. But a lot of you have reached out to me, so I really appreciate it. You know, we've had a lot of friends and family stopping by to visit. Day four, I'm feeling good. I'm not uncomfortable. I can always find a way to, uh, if I'm just uncomfortable, I can always find a way to get comfortable. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. So take care. We'll see you after one week.